This is really nice and smooth. I should design a competing version. I'm sure that would make you really happy. Oh no! Box <laughs> jig. Better than that. <laughs> there we go. That's a proper box joint jig. Oh, it's a wonder you can lift that. It's so heavy, <laughs> so bulky. Look at that. <laughs> What's that? A propeller? <laughs> you gotta use gears. Come on. If the jig doesn't have gears on it, what good is it? So does that come with a trailer to tow it behind your car, or? Hey, it's got at least one wheel. <laughs> wow. That's like See a, how quiet those gears are? That's like a freight train coming. Those gears are so quiet. <laughs> What's a little noise? Who cares? Compared right? to a table saw? Exactly. That drives I was like, you, you can't really you can't really hear the, the gears while I'm using it on the table saw. It's only on the return. But here, here we have mine that, I don't know if you can hear that. You probably can't hear that at all. I can hear that, maybe you can't. Listen, you can't hear that. Okay, you're 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 cutting on the backstroke, man. That's kind of cheating. You didn't let me know you're gonna cheat. Mine will cut on the backstroke. Yeah, it's binding up a little bit up here. Maybe a little bit of the oil. Where does that go? Mm. Mine will cut on the backstroke, but it's hurt on the saw, yeah. So I'm kind of chastising you here for for cheating. Well, it's just trying to juice it up, yeah. Okay, well, let's try that and see how that goes. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. Okay, you ready to go? Yeah, let's finish up that cut. Okay, we're good. Yeah, these are going to be very tight. Oh. There we go. Get it. Let's let's have a look. Let's see. Yeah, they're, they're tight with the. If you use construction adhesive to glue them together, they'd be great. So you, you, let, let's do the other end of these on yours. I'm not going to cut mine on the backstroke. Okay. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm just going to go ahead. It should be okay. Bring it back to the start position. It's clear. Looks good. See how it's how uh, silently you can bring it back to the start position. Now you just need a solid table saw. Just need a what? A solid table saw. <laughs> Put on a Joint Maker Pro, eh? <laughs>
always wait until the table saw blade stops turning. Yours is a lot looser. Mine is a perfect fit. Oh, maybe it's because you didn't cut on the backstroke. Could be. You know, there's no rush when you're doing these things, unless you're trying to do a competition. <laughs> How's it look? It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty decent. Nice tight fit. And that blade with the top, the you know, flat teeth on the top, makes a perfect box joint. Now, if I wanted to open that up to two, like the quarter inch, all I need to do is space it out a bit further, without any changes, without changing the blade, without changing gears. <laughs> okay, at this point, it's uh, customary to admit defeat. <laughs> so, okay, what we're, what we're doing now, Matthias has insisted that he would make, cut a 3 16 inch box joint. I don't know, if you need to cut a 3... Okay, we're going to start again. Because I'm kind of standing on my jig, which you threw on the floor. <laughs> well, it seems like a good place to put it. <laughs> Where's the garbage can for this thing? Oh, no, the oh burn, yeah, yeah, that one, The yeah. burn pile. <laughs> Okay, Matthias wants to make a 3 16th inch box joint, which I really don't think there's any need of, but he wants to show the um, ability of his jig to make those odd size uh, box joints that nobody actually needs, but he would like to show it uh, how it works, which, okay, which is okay with me. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> so what he's going to do is he's got the 1 8 inch blade in there still. He's going to make one cut. And then he's gonna he's gonna turn that sprocket type thing that he's got there to advance it a little bit further to make the rest of the cut. So he's making two cuts to get the three sixteenths, right? Whereas if you're just making a one eighth inch box joint, which is all you really need to do, or you can go up to one quarter with a dado blade, then you'd make one cut with those. Math. You need a third of a turn, so I need to put the uh, marker. I'll make it a little I got another roll of tape in the house. You had some more tape? I think I need to put the marker about here. That will probably be a little bit loose. Depends on the blade deflection. Okay. Piece. Well, we'll have to cut that off anyways, so I think we'll use your miter saw. <laughs> here, I'll use that because you've got no experience with that. All right, here's the, here's the joint you cut, and it looks to be, I would say it's probably a little loose, but. I'm just judging by eye, and I'm probably tipping him off that he should make an adjustment there. Have a look at it. It's probably a little loose. So maybe you want to cut the next ones a little thinner. What do you think? Mm, yeah, a tiny bit. Yeah, cut the next ones a little bit. Yeah. See, I'm a good guy. Yeah, you know, I'm not as good. <laughs> See. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I think you can probably get a, a slip of paper in there and that would be about it. So it's a nice tight joint. Just enough room for glue, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I should cut those a tiny bit tighter. And to adjust the tightness, I tend to just move typically, once I figure out where it is, where I need to stop, so I'll just move the piece of tape. <clears throat> so if you need, you know, to cut those crazy size joints <laughs> and you feel like you have time to spend making gears which is always fun I've done that before lots of gears all the lots of gears and a machine that's this big then this would be the one to go with for sure but if you want something that works well has a bigger capacity 
It does too, doesn't it? It's 17 on one pass. Uh, shall we do joints with a 2x10 clamped in here? A 2x10. Yes, or a stack of 2x10s? A stack of 2x10s. For yeah. what? Just to prove? Prove what? The capacity? With, I have 17. No, no, like, or let's put like a, 17 let's inches. put a 6x6 six six beam in your jig and in mine. I have six, I have 17 inches in one pass. Yeah, but can you stack, you know, like, I can, I can go six inches Nobody this way. Nobody wants six inches. Six inches is not what people want. People want wide. You're making a blanket chest that's, you know, has 16 inch size. This jig will do it one pass. Or you can flip it over and do it in two pass, and you get a board that's 34 inches. 34 inches wide. Right. <laughs> <laughs>